Oh. Anyways, let's get into the show. Uh, we have an update on Jamie Foxx, according to his daughter, Corinne. Jamie has been out of the hospital for weeks and playing pickleball. Corinne posted to her social uh, update from the family. Sad to see how the mainstream, the media runs wild. My dad has been out of the hospital for weeks recuperating. And she added, we have an exciting work announcement coming next week, too. Are you guys relieved now? Al, what do you think about this? I mean, if it's true, if it's true, I'm not, I'm relieved for sure. Thank God. You know, we love Jamie Foxx, um, but I'm also mad. I'm very, very upset that I've been on my pins and needles, that I've been wasting my prayers when he's good enough to be playing pickleball. And I'm sitting here thinking he's in the hospital. I'm sitting here thinking that he's a life-threatening medical condition. But come, only to come to find out from her, not only is he playing pickleball, but they got an incredible announcement to make. So a part of me is very happy that he is well. A part of me is very upset that he hasn't talked to us. Q, what do you think about this? I'll go ahead and be the asshole. She's not telling the truth. You don't think so? No, I, I, she's not telling the truth. Things are not adding up. Um, he's been, so he's been down now three weeks and some change. He's been out of the hospital for weeks, but just last week, y'all were asking for additional prayers. Weeks suggest more than once, at least two. The last report we got two weeks ago is that a special neurologist was being flown in to see about him. But if he's been out for weeks, then what was the neurologist doing? Why is it that all of his closest friends, the Kevin Hart's of the world, are not aware of the fact that he's been out for weeks because they're all still doing interviews saying that we don't know much, but we're wishing for his prayers, so on and so forth. And lastly, I just find it very hard to believe, despite the fact that his health issues are not his, are not our business, we're not entitled to his business, so on and so forth. But I refuse to believe that Jamie Foxx is physically able to play pickleball and has not once got on the internet and said, hey guys, thank you for your prayers, I'm alive and well. If he's well enough to play pickleball, then he would be hosting his television show and not having Nick Cannon do it. And the daughter, if he's so well and you're so mad with the media running with narratives and stuff, a simple photo of Jamie playing pickleball, a photo of him saying hello, a photo of him in the background. And granted, we're not entitled. You don't owe us. But just like you don't owe us nothing, I don't owe you my blind loyalty to believe what you're saying. I don't believe it. I think that her daughter had his daughter had an emotional response to what Torre said this morning. And that's another thing. Torre is a very mm -hmm. well respected music well respected journalist, journalist who would not put his career on the line by reporting false information if it was not vetted and true. I am of the belief that Jamie Foxx is incapacitated in this moment and the daughter had an emotional response because she doesn't want to put her father in the grave. And I completely understand that. But I do not believe that he's physically well enough to be playing pickleball. Oh, I'm upset now. I um spoke to a close friend of his, and I spoke to someone that used to work at CNN, and I, I spoke to a few people. Um, I'm only sharing this, so before people come to my neck, the close friends that I could share this, he said, you can tell everyone that he is okay and that he's been out for two weeks and he's going to be fine. He's just resting. And I said, I would love... I know, same thing you said, he doesn't owe us, but I, I, a video, a picture or something. He's like, he doesn't need to do that. And he wants to control the narrative. Like he wants to, you know, and then we kind of got, I was like, but the reason why there's all these stories is because it's unclear and all these different reports are coming out. And I'm like, I'm, I'm trying to be respectful and, you know, it's not something we can demand and I'm not. I said that a lot of people that are asking, are, you know, a lot of his close friends, we're all calling each other and are genuinely concerned. And the reports are scary, but then I, to hear from a really close friend and the daughter that he is okay, I hope it's I hope it's true. I pray it's true. I, I and and um, he said, "You think I'm lying?" I said, "Yes," and he said, "I'm not." He said, "I'm not." So I I gotta go by what he said because this is a close friend of his of many like of decades. Mm -hmm. But I don't know, you know. It don't feel like Jamie to be okay, and he not know not let his fans know he okay. 
that's just not him. That's that's never been any part of his career. It's never been any part of his branding. I, it's just very awkward in the opposite of what we know him as a talent and as a person to be. As a friend of the family and his for many years, I just have to represent what the family wants out there. And I'm just going to say that they said he's okay. If very anything, changes, I'm sure we will report on it.